somebody and say, well, let's offer Mr. Towns, uh, was, I mean, after the client meeting of February 2009, yes, that all the clients, investors, um, knew about Mr. Towns' failure in doing the investment properly okay. or uh, successfully. Um, he, Mr. Lin, Peter Lin, was elected as the representative of the client group. So that's the client group in regards to uh, after the Tang's uh, investment uh, stopped, or yeah, or it's, I think it's. Uh, I first saw Mr. Lin on the client meeting of uh, February two thousand and nine. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen him since? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Well, it's a few times during the. Um, you know, there were a series of meetings afterward. After February? Uh, yes, after okay. February last year, until yes. about May or something. But after that, I didn't see him. And when you did see him, did you guys communicate? Or no, actually, uh, he, I think a few months ago, he called me on the phone. I didn't pick up, but I saw his number, so I called back. And uh, he said, oh, it's, it's Peter Lane. Um, he said, we're interested in uh, setting up a translator's uh, association or whatever and you can be the uh, the leader of the group I said wow well, that's he said it's something like a Sino Canada translators uh, association or something like that so I said uh, it's such a big thing I mean I can't just just say yes or no I said uh, well I'll, I'll take time to think about it and how we're gonna do it uh, it's a very short conversation but I said I'll call you back after thinking about it but I actually I